When you think of a food that's a symbol of our great country, you think of hot dogs. And what makes them even more wonderfully American is every part of the nation has their own spin on them. We're checking out iconic hot dogs across America. America's favorite torpedo-shaped meat in a casing is much beloved, and each region has made it their own. We take a look at hot dogs across America, starting with the Sonoran dog in Arizona. The Sonora hot dog is from where in Mexico? The Sonora hot dog was born, created in Navajoa, Sonora, Mexico. James Beard Award winner Daniel Contreras started with a food stand, El Guero Canelo, in Tucson, Arizona, and it's grown to four restaurants statewide. Oh my God. He starts with sweet Mexican bolillo bread. I'm already hungry. Next comes the bacon wrapped dog, pinto beans, grilled onion, and yellow pepper. Fresh onions and fresh tomato. Finish with jalapeno sauce, mustard, and mayo. Ah, there you go. That's what I call, that's what I call a big buy. Mmm. Mmm. That's bueno. Ay, ay, ay. I wasn't even hungry, but you made me hungry. Ha, 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 Next, the Chicago dog from Chicago, Illinois. You start with mustard. You go from one end to the other. Then relish, onions, and sliced tomato. This is celery salt. Then we put the pickle on, and we finish off with sport peppers. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the Chicago-style hot dog. And almost no one is more famous for dragging it through the garden, as they say, than Portillo's restaurants. The average Portillo's does four to five times the business of an average McDonald's, and that's without serving breakfast. And it seems Chicagoans can't get enough. Finally, we head over to the Nickel Empire in South Brooklyn, the Coney Island dog in New York City, New York. Coney Island is known for New York City, hot dogs, the ocean. The famous Coney Island dog is smothered in chili sauce, slaw, onions, and yellow mustard. And one place you can get them is Nathan's Famous. 1916, when they first opened up the stand, it was only a 20-foot counter. No one knows who invented it, but Nathan's put it on the map. Those are just a few of our favorite Franks across America.